Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the WeTech Desert Eagle L6. Just a note, I made a video on this. This is not an L6. This is just a stainless compensated version of the Desert Eagle. The real L6 has a black lower that's aluminum rather than steel. Okay, so let's start with a general overview and then what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And then we will go to an accuracy test. So, this is a Desert Eagle. This is the newer version, so it has a different safety and then it has the compensator and the top and bottom Picatinny rail. And that's really all that changed on the Desert Eagles um, from the old generation to the new generation. This is an aftermarket grip. The original grip is right here. It is a cheap plastic, but the grip is the only thing that comes plastic on this gun. Everything else is metal, all the internals. Uh, so yeah. It does come with a 27 round mag, which I'll show later. The finish, this is the silver one, obviously. I've seen these polished and they look really nice. If you can see the finish on this, I don't know if that's oil, like smudges and stuff like that, but you do have to clean it every once in a while. I did not clean it recently. And other than the grip, the only thing I've done to this was, uh, you can kind of see it sticking through. There is, I put a foam barrel spacer to stabilize the barrel because the barrel, when you, when I got the gun and you go like this, uh, you can feel the barrel and hear it, um, moving around. But, um, yeah, so that's your overview. Here's your slide lock. Uh, to take it down, you press this and flip this lever, obviously. Here's your safety, your hammer, which is only a full cock. Um, and yeah, obviously you have your sights, which come all blacked out. I did paint this. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Here's your mag release. Forgot about that. There's a real nice big beaver tail, because obviously it's a Desert Eagle. So let's get into some pros and cons. So the first pro is the weight. I like how heavy this is. Um, with the mag in it, it is probably around three or four pounds. The next thing I like is it is one-to-one -one scale with a real Desert Eagle. If I wanted to take this airsoft slide off here, it would fit on the real Desert Eagle. It would not work, but it would fit. Um, the mag holds 27 shots, and it does hold enough gas to get through all 27 shots, even though this thing is a gas hog. The next thing I like about it is it is VSR compatible when it comes to barrel and hop up. So I just ordered a Maple Leaf Crazy Jet and a Decepticon bucking for this, which I will be putting in after I do the accuracy test. The next thing I like about it is the trigger pull. So it is a pretty short and light trigger. So let's do that one more time. It has a little bit of take up here and then it hits a break, a wall. And there's the break. And reset I don't think it has a very good I think you have to yeah you have to have the trigger all the way out for the reset um, next thing I like about it is the recoil this entire gun is aluminum so when you do shoot that slide comes back and it's you know obviously it's a massive slide it's a lot of mass moving so you end up with a lot of recoil um, I like how realistic it is and the rails on the top and bottom I run a flashlight for looks on here and then a T1 style red dot just for fun, you know. Um, next thing I like about it is the takedown. So to take it down, you just want to have your mag out and then you're going to press this button, flip this lever, and then your barrel's going to pop off and up and then your slide's going to slide forward and your recoil springs are coming come out so here's what it looks like when it's taken down um, now I have put around 3,000 to 4,000 shots through this gun so far and there are a few wear spots well I will show you in a second uh, how do you adjust your hop you do it I don't know if my camera will focus right in there it's like a 1.5 millimeter or a 2 millimeter allen key I'm not too sure which and then here's your slide with your nozzle. Now, if you ever need replacement parts for this, there's a place called KY Airsoft. Literally has every single 
part on this gun that you need to replace. So the issues that I'm going to show, if they ever break, I can always just buy parts from there. And then obviously you have your um, dual recoil springs here. I'm going to put this together back off camera. It's the same exact thing, just in reverse. And I'll be back in a minute. Now, so to adjust my hop, I normally just lock my slide back. And then the Allen key that I have, if I can find it, um, you can see how small this is, obviously. It just kind of fits in there without me having to take apart the gun. I've seen other places tell you to take apart the gun, but there you go. Normally, the smaller Allen keys will just fit in there anyway. Um, and the next thing I like about it is the hop will hop heavy BBs. If you turn it all the way up, it has a lot of adjustment. If When you get this gun... If you are adjusting the hop and nothing is happening, it may be turned way out and not engaging. Because when I got this, I turned it a few times and it was not engaging the hop. I didn't realize I had to turn it like six or seven turns in. Uh, by the way, turning it tight, uh, turning your Allen key to the right, adjust your hop up up, and then uh, left adjusts it down. So, um... Yeah, you might just have to turn the hop way in. And then also, I forgot to show you. To take out your inner barrel and stuff, you're just going to knock out this pin right here. And then that assembly will come out. So now let's get into some cons. This is a gas hog. Um, it does get through an entire mag. But... It, uh, it struggles to do so if you're shooting quickly. Uh, I run HPA, and normally after about 1,000, 2,000 shots, I have to fill up. I have a 48, 3,000 tank. Normally after about 2,000 shots, I have to fill up my tank again if I'm strictly using this. Um, again, con is the stock grips, which are really cheap plastic. These real Hogue rubberized grips fit on there, but uh, it took a little bit of modding to get it to work. Next con is the, obviously the size and the weight. You know, it's a Desert Eagle, and it's going to be heavy, and it's going to be big, so you can't really run this as a secondary. Um, the next con is going to be the mag size. Of course, it's going to be hard to find mag pouches that fit such a wide mag. And what I do like about the WeTech compared to the Tokyo Marui and the KWC, the WeTech is the only full metal one. KWC has a polymer lower. WeTech has a, you know, metal lower. And then obviously TM is completely plastic. But this is actually big enough to fit a real 50 AE. This is exactly how far the real Desert Eagle travels. Uh, and this is the only Airsoft Desert Eagle with a full travel slide. The next thing is the sights. Obviously, these big bricks that are just blacked out are not very good sights. Uh, the hop-up adjustment is kind of annoying. I mean, yeah, so I don't like that either. And that's about it for things I don't like about it. Now let's get over some uh, problems that I've had in the 4,000 shots that I've shot this. Um... The sights are a little wiggly. The barrel stabilizer I had to make out of foam. Um, and this back here. This is my main concern. As well as the safety. I had to lock tight these screws in because they kept coming loose and the safety would just flip down by itself. But if you look here, that is not supposed to be like that. I don't know how well you can see that. But right in here that is wearing this should not be able to move like this this should just be centered like that and it's worn away the metal around that now again ky airsoft has every single part in this entire assembly in the back of the slide so if this ever does break i have the parts i can just order them but that's my main concern with this i have seen two other people at my field however uh with this gun However, those two other people have not shot it nearly as much as me, and, um, yeah, so that's that. So, I said I run HPA. Here is the stock mag, and that's why I haven't showed the stock mag, because it's being used. I used a guy on YouTube called Easy Blue 1611 and 
his service was great. Uh, I got this mag. I sent it out and I got it back within like a week. And it's held up fine so far. And just real quick, here's the box. It's just a cardboard box. Those are parts from the original grip that I didn't need anymore. And then it comes with this speed loader, which isn't the best, but yeah. So I am going to be shooting from a bench rest position right here. That is a 6 inch target at 50 feet away. Uh, to give you an idea, that's about the size of a head. And uh, yeah, so something I realized with this gun was that the accuracy was kind of all over the place. It is a little windy today, but that's why I'm doing the Crazy Jet and Decepticon bucking upgrade is because I realize it's extremely inconsistent even with HPA. Um, I'm going to be running at around 100 PSI, which is a little bit less than green gas. I have heard that on green gas, the FPS is too high to use in like CQB, so it's over 350. Uh, but I'm going to be using 0.25 today. It is a little windy. And yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to be doing two cider shots. And then ten regular shots. So about the inconsistency. You can't really. You can't really spam this gun because of the recoil as well. But the inconsistency does not help. So here we go. That was to the right. That was to the left, that was low, that was low, that was to the right, that was to the right and low, that was a hit, that was a hit, that was low, that was low, that was low, that was to the left, low again, Hit. That was to the left. To the left and low. Hit. That was way off to the left and high. Left to low. 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 Low right. So, if you can see, it's pretty pretty inconsistent but um yeah so that's why I'm doing the upgrades I know that was more than 10 shots but I did want you to know I was taking my time and also I was aiming at the exact same spot in the target every single time Okay, so my final thoughts on the Desert Eagle. Um, it's a really fun gun. It's nice to run around with. However, if you're trying to be competitive, this is not the gun for you. As there aren't a lot of uh, upgrade parts and it's just not very wieldy. But yeah, if, if you're looking to have a ton of fun, ton of recoil, real loud. You know, just be that guy running around with a Desert Eagle. That's okay. Um, it is a great gun for that. And if you have a collection it's a great piece to add to your collection but with that being said thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll see you next time peace